All right, well, welcome back. There you go. You can see on screen that was the swearing in of uh, the new premier of uh, David Makura here in Gauteng. It was officiated as uh, the new premier within the province, taking over from Numbula Mukunyane, who now holds a, uh, a, a ministerial position in cabinet. Now, this, of course, is the economic hub of the country and was a very hotly contested province during the May polls in which the ANC received just over 53% of the vote. Analysts have pointed out what a tough job lies ahead for a new Premier, not only in trying to regain the ANC's 10% lost in support, but to ensure success at the upcoming local elections. Well, let's meet the new Premier. It's good to have him on the programme. David Makura, welcome. Good morning, Leanne. Congratulations. Congratulations to you on your new position. Thank you. Yeah. I think you were a shoe in for the job because, I mean, every time anybody or any analyst was predicting who it was going to be, the new Premier was going to be, your name kept coming up. So did it come as a surprise for you or were you, were you expecting it? Well, in the ANC, we leave uh, everything for the organization to decide. And when you are called uh, to take up a challenging task, you ready to serve. And that's uh, how I feel I'm ready to serve the people of Gauti. Good. We're happy to hear that. Now, in terms of, of your week, you've had a busy week. You've, you've yes. been sworn in. You are now the yes. premier in the province. What have you been up to? Uh, well, so far, I mean, when you start any job, you have to first understand what's happening in the system. But I have had um, important meetings with the staff, with uh, the new cabinet, uh, senior managers in the premier's office. Uh, we have sent a very clear message that uh, we want to be a government that's out there in the communities to tackle issues of service delivery, development, to unblock all the major projects that we know uh, government have, has put ma many resources, housing delivery roads, uh, and the machine of government has been moving too slow. So that's what uh, I want to do. I've already been sending a message that we're going to be on the ground we're going to be in schools that don't function, in police stations, in hospitals. We will have meetings, cabinet meetings, meetings with senior managers. Uh, but we won't spend too much time in meetings because the real job of government is to be on the ground and unlock problems where we know many people are reticent, people are edgy on the ground. Yeah. And we lead a province that's very complex, rapidly urbanizing. The more you deliver houses, the more the demand because people are streaming here. The same pressure is on the health services and on schools. Uh, so we understand that, uh, that challenge, and I, I am excited by this challenge. Yeah, good. Well, we're happy to hear this because it, it's not that you are new to this. I mean, you have been working behind the scenes yes. for a while, but now you, of course, being the face of the province at the center of it all. What's it like now? I mean, uh, working behind the scenes and now, of course, being right in the, in the, in the forefront of it all. Uh, in this hot seat, uh, obviously it's a, it's a big jump for you. Uh, well, uh, I spent 14 years, as you'd know, in the party offices uh, in, at Walter Sisulu House, uh, dealing largely with community problems yeah. and organizational problems. I spent a lot of time in communities throughout Gauteng, so I know uh, what the problem in each community is. And even when we're looking at the election results, I could guess why people voted in a particular way in in a particular community. Yeah. So the ANC has said to me now, get out of the party office, get into government, because when we, we are in the ANC, we deal with lots of problems related to service delivery and, and governance, uh, complaints on corruption, complaints on uh, service providers who have done work and they've not been paid. Uh, houses have been delivered, but they are lying empty across the province and uh, people are on waiting lists uh, since 1996. So. So these issues, I know them offhand. So the ANC has said to me now, get out and, and go and sort these issues out, not refer them to somebody else, an MEC in government, which is what uh, we have been doing when we are in the party. We refer this problem. So now we're going to get there and sort them out. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's essentially what uh, I'm going to lead a team of MECs that's going to be out there to sort out problems. Yeah. Uh, we, we're not going to communities to ask what is the problem. We know what is the problem. All right, it's just going in there and doing yes. the work now. Yes. Because that, at the roots of it all, and, and you mentioned it yourself, during the elections, um, there, there was a lot of 
animosity towards the ruling party here in Gauteng. And a lot of votes against the ruling party because they feel that that service delivery is not there for them. So is this your mandate going in? Is this what you want to see? I mean, let's talk about the cabinet you have chosen um, to work with you. You've given them 18 months in order to do this. Are you going to, more than anything, address the issues of the poor? Uh, let, let me first say that the ANC got 2.5 million votes uh, in this province. Uh, we take that mandate very, very seriously. Uh, the, that's uh, in, in, in absolute numbers, that's a, a significant number of the people of our province. We have a majority, uh, we have a mandate, so we go into government with that in mind. We have a manifesto that has been uh, uh, approved by the people of Houghton, they have said go ahead. Uh, we, we're very clear that at the top of the agenda of this administration, the hallmark of this administration, which is the fifth administration in Houghton, and the still an ANC administration is going to be to on all those things we have done well mm. over 20 years we're going to just build on them but they are going to be new game changers uh, with regard to the economy new game changers which which will include placing black people women and youth at the center of this biggest economy in our country and the fourth biggest economy in the continent there'll also be new game changers with regard to public transport we want to sort out, we, want to, we are at the heart of the economy of South Africa. We want to build a state-of-the-art public transport infrastructure because most of the problems in a province like ours, which is landlocked, big uh, traffic problems, is because of the absence of a good public transport system. We will also have a new, new game changers with regard to building new human settlements. We, we can't continue to build houses the way we are because we are reproducing the legacy of apartheid. We want to people to settle closer to where they, they work. Uh, we want to build new cities and new economic nodes, bring public transport into those nodes, integrate the different parts of our province in the process. Mm. Uh, we want to densify, we want to, we want to build up. Uh, we want more urban, I mean planned, more planned urban development uh, in a province like ours. We also want to take Houghton into Africa in a big way. Get businesses in our province to understand that Africa is an enormous opportunity, it's an enormous continent of opportunities. So they must be outward looking. So we, we're going to build this, what we call a results-based relationship with business. They have their bottom line, they want to increase their profits. We have a, our bottom line is to increase employment and decent employment and to build an inclusive economy. Okay. So that, that's, that's the basis on which we're going to assess our relationship with business. Mm. What about these new immigration laws that have come into effect? Do you think it's going to hinder progress for you? You know, one of the, the, the good things about a province like Gauteng is that we, we are an urbanizing province. We also attract uh, people from all over the world and all over the continent. And most of the time, the people who come into our province are more enterprising. Mm. They are more entrepreneurial. They are some of the and the people with the, with the, with the best skills. Uh, so urbanization uh, and, and, and in-migration into Gauteng is something that's also a positive force. It's not just putting pressure on our resources. It's also a positive. We want to harness the positive force of urbanization yeah. uh, to unleash that potential we have to have some of the, the, the most skilled people in our continent coming into our province to see how we turn around this economy. Each sector of the economy in Gauteng has got its own unique potential. And we have looked at these sectors to see how we use the skills we have. I mean, there's no skills shortage. Yeah. In a province like ours, we can't talk of lack. We cannot talk of lack of capacity. You have, we just you have, have to capacity. unlock this capacity. There are many people sitting here from all over the world, from all over the continent, yeah. who want to make a contribution. Let's, let's have a look just a little bit more at this immigration uh, policy, because it is, I think, a, a vital one when it comes to this province. Yes. Uh, it, 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 before it used to, it, 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 it was never as strict. Now we're looking at 60%, uh, and that is a, it's a big percentage when it comes to businesses coming to operate here in this, yes. in this province. Yes. Do, do you think that it is going to hinder business? It's going to affect business in a way? No, I think uh, it is important as a country, as it, it is the case everywhere in the world. 
to mm. regulate who comes into your country yeah. and why are they coming into your country because otherwise you're going to have wrong people here uh, doing drugs and destroying our society and our economy. Uh, so I, I, I support very much you know, the need to look into it. What we want is we are, we are a province of opportunity. Like there are many regions in the world, you know, in the East, uh, in, in the Americas, there are many regions where people come from all over the world and say, we want to make it. Yeah. Uh, but we, we want to avoid uh, people streaming into our country illegally. Mm. Uh, and because that's also a big, there's a big sentiment and in our a, communities about uh, it's a big issue. Uh, people who are setting up businesses all over. Okay. There's no regulation. And then you have, we, you have in some of the townships, people operating businesses there, having taken over spaza shops. And uh, some of those people are not uh, legally in the country. So, yeah. so we don't want uh, an anti-foreigner sentiment. Uh, those who want to come here, you know, to harness opportunities to help us build a vibrant economy, they should. But there must be, there must be regulation. There Good. must be law. Right. They must Th be here legally. Yeah, in terms of in, in terms of what the law stipulates. Yes. Just uh, finally, there are two questions I need to ask you from the public, and and I, I want very short answers. <laughs> this is from. Uh, Princess Litsia is asking, uh, please ask the Premier of Gauteng if he'll consider removing the monster called Etolls. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yes I, or no? I have said that uh, Etolls are a, an important issue affecting the people of Gauteng, so it is on the menu of issues I'm going to deal with. But I never promise something I won't do, and I don't promise easy solutions to problems. And uh, Etolls are a law in this country. We know this affects people. But we want to look at different ways of addressing the concerns of the people of Gauteng. We'll work with Sandral, we'll work with national government on these issues. Uh, and I've said during the election campaign that I'm not one of those people who say, elect, elect the a vote for the ANC or vote for us after the elections, the ETOLs will be gone. Mm -hmm. that's, that's too easy to, to contemplate. Uh, but it is an issue of concern. It is affecting the people of our province, and that's why it is on my agenda as well. Mm. But there are different ways that we are looking into how to address this fundamental problem yeah. uh, through rollout of public transport, efficient public transport system, expanding uh, the, the roads in Gauteng, and we're going to build new how highways without, without uh, tolls, uh, uh, expand the infrastructure of our province. We will continue to deal with this issue. Uh, of etols in that in that sensitive way, without okay. promising easy solutions. All right, uh, Premier, I, I want to keep you here all morning, but I, I know I have to wrap, unfortunately. Uh, but thank you for talking to us. I know this is not going to be the last time we have yes. you, and it's going to be, uh, uh, I think, uh, a lot more invitations on our side. Uh, premier David Makura, uh, the new Premier of Gauteng, thank you for joining us here on the program. Thank you, Leah. All right, let's take a quick break.